Oh, one Naples scares me to death. I, uh, I heard about it in uh, 2017. And at that point, it was going to be one massive tower. I think it was 300 feet uh, tall. Uh, it was uh, going to have uh, over 300 uh, units in there, and it was going to be built right on the sidewalk, just about. Um, of course, they said that they were going to uh, drape it with trees and uh, lots of uh, vines and greenery to make it look good. But uh, if they have to do that to make it look good, then it's probably not really good for the neighborhood. Uh, they've scaled it down somewhat since then but it's still being built pretty much right on the sidewalk. It's going to change the complexion of my neighborhood. It's going to change the whole ecological system in the neighborhood. Right now, we're able to sit at the lagoon and we can watch dolphins in the lagoon and stingrays and manatees. Um, taking lots of pictures of the manatees and the dolphins and the stingrays. Um, but they're going to put 99 boat docks there, or they trying to put 99 boat docks there. So I don't know what's that that is going to do for the future of the sea life in the lagoon. As for the future of the people, the pedestrians trying to get to the beach, they're not going to be able to get to the beach. Vanderbilt Beach is less than an acre of sand, and they're going to put in three or four hundred more people that are going to be using this public beach. That's really not fair to the public is to have them build this huge development, uh, pretend that it's on the beach, but it's not their beach, it's the public beach. So people um, outside of the Vanderbilt Beach area will not be able to access the beach. And right now they have difficulty accessing it because of the parking situation. So if people are lucky enough to be able to bike to the beach um, or, or walk to the beach, um, the beach will not be as accessible as it should be for the public. The other thing that bothers me is the height. It doesn't fit into the neighborhood. Brian Stark has designed a building that fits into a Miami Beach neighborhood. It's built right on the sidewalk. Um, it's got a, a setback of anywhere from 10 to 15 feet from the sidewalk. And the parking garage alone is 70 feet long. And it's going to uh, and it's going to be uh, 35 plus feet tall. That's almost as tall as the building that I live in. That's going to be the wall of the parking garage that's going to encompass all of the corner of Vanderbilt Beach Road and um, Gulf Shore Drive. That's going to create more sun, um, more excuse me, more wind uh, debris, which is going to be uh, push down a caverning effect and more shadows on my neighborhood. It's not gonna be the pleasant place that it is today. It just doesn't fit. He's dumping this massive concrete buildings uh, on this corner and it's gonna be like a prison. They're, all of those people are gonna stay in there and nobody is even gonna be able to look in because it's gonna be 35 feet of concrete going straight up. And then the towers are going to be almost 200 feet, 186 feet. Um, it's going to ruin our view. We're not gonna be able to see the sunsets anymore. Um, our building in particular is gonna be in shadows and the people in one of the buildings are gonna be looking at the wall of one of the mid rises because he doesn't even abide by the setbacks. So where we have setbacks of maybe 40 feet, his setbacks are gonna be 15 feet, which means our buildings are gonna be set back from his buildings. So we won't even be able to look down the street. So it's just a bad, it's a bad concept for this corner. It, basically he's coming in and he's saying, I'm putting, I wanna put this in and you're gonna like it. Well, nobody likes it. I hope that the commissioners are gonna to listen to us um, and listen to the residents. They haven't always listened to the residents. I hope they will this time because there's people that are getting angry about this all over Collier County, not just, not just in Vanderbilt Beach. This is a Collier County problem. 